Hello everyone, we're back again with a video for Two Point Hospital. This is going to be the first in a Let's Play series. I've been really excited for this game coming out because it is heavily influenced At by... Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. So yeah, as I was saying, it's heavily influenced by Theme Hospital from back in the day. I don't know if any of you have played it, but uh, I absolutely loved it. And I managed to quickly check this out on PC a while back, but... Um, this is my first load up on Xbox, so I haven't even, uh, I, I, I don't know the controls or anything, so we can't go on to that one, so it's going to have to be this one first. What is it? Hogsport. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital, so let's just jump into that. Do I press Y on it? Right, so welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Yes, I am. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around. To move around the hospital, use the left stick to pan the camera. Zoom in and out with right trigger and left trigger and rotate the pitch of the camera with right stick. So, left stick moves, right stick will spin and... Okay, I know I need to get a reception. Right trigger zooms in, left trigger zooms out. So, we've got to press X to access the menu in the bottom left corner of the screen. Press down to items. And we'll go for reception. How do I rotate this? It's going to be the bumpers, isn't it? Let's put this right at the door. Now, we need an assistant on the reception. Let's hire one now. Open the hire menu and select assistant to your job application. OK. Was it left on the D-pad or up? I can't remember what I've just said. Let's exit that. There we go. I did it right the first time. No, I didn't do it right. Okay, let's press back. All right, that's it. You press X. I've literally just said it here and then did it wrong. So we're going to go to higher and we're going to have a look. So she's going to be the best one. You can see she's got the three stars. And... Oh, wait, no, that's Doc Baz. Bobby, look at what you're doing. Right, so yes, assistance. Best one is that one for 10 grand. I am going to take them at the higher amount, even though it told us to go for the other one. Whack them there. We want the best for this hospital, so, you know. Right, now we need a GP's office. So, patients will visit the doctor working as a general practitioner. At each stage of diagnosis, the GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. So, okay. X and then A and drag OK. Room, GP office. How big? It's got to be a minimum of three by three. So, let's go one, two, three. 3x3, three three. perfect, spin the camera around so we can see, I'm going to put the door there, and can I rotate this round, that's the way I want this, and we're going to have a filing cabinet, let's put it over here in the corner, in the corner, right, I think that's everything, press Y, and there we go, now we're going to need a GP, so let's go back into higher, and we're in doctor. Oh, we're in doctors. No, we're in assistance. Doctors. Which one do we make? We'll go for the highest one because what I said, I just don't want to dwindle all of my money. Let's drop them in the office. Now we should be good to go with them. So hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive after they register at the reception. They'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Wicked. So we're gonna wait for our first patient. Can I buy items yet? Is it gonna let us buy like a chair? Bench that will do me perfectly. And we'll put another one there just in case. Back up with that. Right, here's my first patient. Let's see what's wrong with them. You're 
this thing to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Right, I've just seen if I push right stick in, it Welcome goes a bit faster. Your favorite radio station and then back to normal. The vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people right. like to call them, do not hesitate to, to build a pharmacy. that impulse. That's why no local messages, pharmacy required, drivel. grout. All messages will be filed uh, grout should be transmitted in bathroom well. and modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times. Treatment, blah, 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 cost seven six hundred bill. Do would you like to do this? Get patient to wait. Let's build a pharmacy. This has to be a three by three, so we might as well put it right beside the GP. Put the door there, and put that there. What else have I got to put in here? Is that it? All right, sweet. No doubt we're going to have to hire someone for there. Hire a nurse. Right, so let's go hire nurse. We're going to go for that one. And we're going to put them in there. So that should get that patient seen who's sitting on the bench waiting. We've got another patient in getting diagnosed as we speak. So let's see where this takes her. Zoom right in and have a good gandas here. What did it say about the patient? Does anything pop up? Could all jabs please leave the hospital? Sweet, I think that's our patient sorted. And is that other one waiting for the pharmacy? Yes, they are. Right, so well done, you've cured your first patient. We've Earn some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Roger that. We just cured our very first patient. <laughs> I love the announcements. So they're going in for a second diagnosis, and the doctor is seeing this guy or lady, whatever it is. Right, so now that you've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered um, bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines while you're at it. Make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry. Roger that. Right, so. What's that say? Your main objectives will always appear on the top right of the screen. Access with up on the d-pad and move the cursor over them for more details right let's hire a janitor um we're gonna go for that guy because he's got everything put him in there and we needed fire extinguishers didn't we items do, do, do extinguishers i'm gonna place one there and I'll place one next to this there for the letters. There, right, good to go with that. Janitors will be called to repair machine when it's maintenance level falls below 50%. You can also request that a janitor repair it immediately through the item options. Right, so it's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and comfy seats. In the comfy seat, sorry. When they're between appointments. If they become become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. Roger that. Okay, so we're gonna have a leaflet stand. We've got two benches, I've already done that. Let's buy some items. What's it say? One drinks machine, one snack machine. So, drinks machine. Right next to the door as you come in. Snack machine, right beside it. And where the leaflet stand? Leaflet stand next to reception, so it's in keeping with everything. Back out of that. And if you want to pick it up, move it. You can do that with ATs at the bottom. And place it back down, and the receptionist is done a runner. 
How we're doing, Re reputation is going up or at level two of the hospital, what's this saying? Staff get tired as they work and will eventually go on a break. The staff room will help them relax and keep them work energized. Drinks and snacks help them keep happy too. If you make room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People who use a high prestige room will become happier and nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. Right, we are gonna go for a bigger staff room then. So, let's go to rooms. Staff room. Let's make this twice the standard size. So we'll do it six wide. I'm only gonna do it three deep, so it is in keeping with everything. Actually, no. Do you know what it is? It said more prestigious. I might regret this, but we're gonna go big. We're gonna place that in the center of the room. Press Y on that. Now. Oh, hold on. Staff will head to the staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interest. Yeah, you've already said this, mate. Let's go items. Let's give them the own drinks machine. Money's still doing all right. Right, you're saying the same things that you've already said to us now, mate. Put that in. Let's give them a plant. Who doesn't like a plant? I don't know what the green thing is, I wonder if it's something to do with the oxygen, so I'm gonna fill this room so it's all nice and green. It's also prestige level 3, which is pretty good going. And let's just get another bench for them in case... Ah, that bench looks naff. No, we'll wait, we'll wait. Oh, I have to place two bins as well. So, snack machine, bin next to that. And a bin next to reception. And we need to build a toilet. I wasn't paying attention there was I was messing about. So we'll put the toilets over here and attach to the staff room. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Minimum room size is three by two. Let's do three by three. Can I move that back? Yeah, I can. Can I put one in front of the window? Sweet. Toilets are done. Turn out as well empty bins and unblock toilets when required. This is much better than having to sweep up litter and um, other waste. Roger that, mate. For the diagnosis, we're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room if a GP isn't certain they will send a patient for further diagnosis. Let's see if it's in rooms yet. There it is. What size is this going to be? At least three by three. Can I put it next to the toilet? Or should I put it... As you expand your hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. Larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with extra patients, right? I get that. Look out for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over room and highlight people queuing for that room. Roger that, mate. Roger that. Should we stick it here? Oh, should we put No, I'm going to put it here because I can do a nice 3x3. Three three. What's got to go in here? The door's going to be there. You're going in that far corner. And you're going there. Hospital level has increased. Keep expanding to attract more patients and staff. So we'll unlock ward soon. We've got to cure another patient. This is all going fine. I am gonna put more benches outside of rooms. Can I fit one there? Is the fire extinguisher on the way? It's in the way. Right, back out of that. Get that moved. News flash, there's a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Great. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep on top of things. Roger that. I'm just going to finish what I'm doing here. Put that there and we'll stick another bench outside. Right, so GP's office has two benches, that has two benches, and I need an extra nurse. 
Hi two doctors, hi two nurses. I don't want to pay 37 grand for a nurse, like, but she is pretty good. Right, that's done. Build another GP's office. We are going to have to go... I'm going to go over this side now for the GP's office, so... Can I do a 3x3 three three here? Put the door there. Put that in the corner. Find a cabinet there. Done. Let's get me another doctor. I don't want to pay 60 grand for a doctor when I've only got 159. So we're paying for this guy. That'll do me. He is in there. Right. Oh, they're having a rest. Okay. There's a GP's office there though, so I'm assuming they can use the two of them. I am just going to put a bench, one bench outside. That's good going. Oh, stop angling your camera, stupidly Bobby. Who's that? Is that the receptionist? Whoa! I need a second reception desk. Do I or don't I? You're going to get through them fast? Nah, they're doing fine. They're doing fine. We've got two nurses for them. So, so far, that's the lightheaded in this, by the way. That's a little logo for that, the balloons. So, so far, we it's doing well. It's not covering its costs. We consider lowering our outgoings and making more money. Okay. Fine dining establishment, Le Souffle Triste. And what a delight for the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast are particularly good. I yeah, I've read them. I've read that. Chicken. Read that. Ignore that. How do I? Right, I don't want to be on that. How do I have my outgoings lower? Wait, is it here? Overview. Okay, so what we got? Profit and loss trends. It's going straight in the bin. We have cash is down 70%, but we're not making any money. How do I change this around? Right, that's because I've spent the expensive doctors. Room prestige is down as well, which is a bit scary considering most of the rooms look pretty class, if I do say so myself. Right, I'm going to wait until it gives us another prompt on that and see what it tells us to do itself. We've cured 10 patients, so reputation is going well, and we're a level 3 hospital. So let's speed it up a bit. I'm also going to add some plants and stuff to the rooms to see if it prestiges anything. We'll add bins where we can. All patients and some staff. Right, I don't know if this plant, these plants are doing a good thing, but you know, I'm trying. Expenses of twelve grand, revenues fifteen, profit losses two grand. How do I turn that around? Is that just because I'm spending stuff, or do I need to charge more for things? Why well, you got a counter above your head? got bed face. How do I treat bed face? I don't want the title to miss your turn mate when you've got a counter above your head. Right, is my level going up or do I need to build something else? Let's have a look at these. Mode required. Okay. I didn't see that. It's got to be four by three. I'll do five by three so you can get two beds in. Let's put that there. I am going to cramp everything, cram everything in here that I can. 
Can I get a second bed in? Can I get a third bed in? No. That's just stupid, Bobby. Don't try that. Sweet, so we've got that. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient. Look after them and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room settings. This is useful if you have lots of patients. Right, let's hire a nurse. Two point minutes. And then the Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs for the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organisation. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one star rating. Roger that. Let's go for nurse wise. I'm going to go for the 23 grand one. Stick them there. Got okay, three patients with lightheadedness. Right, what does that say? By completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudosh. You can use this to unlock items to use in any of our hospitals. Check the items list to see what we can afford. Ah, so we can have purple bench, silver bench, sophisticated bench. Obviously, we've only got up to 50. So what does this do? The bench of the future chrome plate of dreams. Um, increases comfort. That increases comfort too. So it makes no difference. Alright, well, I'm, I'm just going to save them up at the minute. Just going to save them up. Do we have anyone... What, what do you, where are you going, lighthead? Deluxe clinic required. Did I miss... Wrong one. Oh god. Do I really want to make this a 3x3? Three three? I'm going to bring it out to there. I'm going to put the door here. No, I'm not going to put it here. Put that there. And put that here. We have a deluxe clinic. Who needs to go into the deluxe clinic? Is it a nurse? Did you know you can make the hospital more attractive by placing plants and decorative items? This helps keep staff and patients happy. Yes, I know that, mate. I know that. Oh, no, I've just lost that light head in this guy. He's not dead, is he? I get paid to announce. Not is that a doctor's logo? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. I think, I think... We'll have a ghost. <gasps> We've got a ghost. How do we get rid of the ghost? Oh, the janitor gets rid of him. Oh, so the treatment failed. So yeah, that must have been because I didn't have the lightheaded in the setup. Damn. That noise is someone dying, I think. The patient has expired. That's not what I wanted to see. Why are you dying? There's someone in there who should be treating you. Am I missing something here? Right, I've got everything that's there. What am I missing? Two point right, our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails or if they are waiting too long and they... Hold on, hold on. Let's go to settings. Right, where is DJ volume? Right, let's get rid of him. Right, good, because he was doing me nothing. Right, how do I get back up what I was reading there? Ghosts. When a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains the most terrifying part. Sadly, this can be quite upsetting for those of us settling on to light, clinging on to life. Not only that, but ghosts are messy blight as leaving a trail of ectoplasm. They have a habit right. Who should we call? A janitor with a ghost capture qualification, of course. They are fully trained at the latest of the da. So we've got to use it by the research team. Where the hell is our janitor? People are getting scared. The hospital may well be haunted. Pause that. I'll slow it right down. 
what qualifications does he have what's that take a break peer review jobs slap customization mood starts log I do not see anything to say that he has the qualification I don't want to change his name Why is the note right? Do I need a doctor for that? Let's hire a doctor. Put the doctor in there. I'm gonna take this guy. No. What is the logo for that? Do I have a doctor available for that? I'm assuming it's the little logos that you see. And none of them. Green fingers like water plants, fast learner, quick learner, develop skill, 50% learning speed. Right, we're going for the expensive guy and I'm dropping him in to see if he works. Can he go in now? Oh, let's speed it up, sorry. Right, is bulb head getting fixed? Yes, he is. Right, so we did need a doctor for there. That was me messing it up. Right. He looks like he's going to die. Oh no, he's cured. Oh, wicked. So the heart doesn't mean he's having a heart attack. Alright. That must have been the first year done. I didn't even realise what was going on there. Um, open all. We're one nurse of the year, most prestigious hospital. And doctor of the year. Sweet. Let's just go back. I don't want to see that. We want to keep playing. Let's take it at normal speed right so another bulb head guy I need to get my camera angles a little bit better right, so we've got someone in the ward someone getting changed there I think they're cured yeah they're looking like they are right so far I'm content I just need bulb head over there to be cured and then I can be on to the next part of the mission that it wants us to do. Right, it's not covering its cost, we should consider lowering our outgoings or making more money. How do I make more money? Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's go to staff. Right, this is my staff list. And a lot of them are newly trained up, so I'm going to not touch them too. Um, right. Can I? Peer review. Staff peer review. Review the salaries of your staff and see how satisfied they are with their pay. As staff are promoted and trained, they will expect a higher salary. Their pay satisfaction will affect their overall happiness. Right, so 12 month review, 12 month profit. They've made it three grand. Oh, wait, no, this is in total, right? So all that on the right is in total. So annual wages are 200 grand. Well, their expenses are 38,000. But we did make profit in them, so I'm, I'm going to take the profit. Oh, we got one star. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from the bin to celebrate. <laughs> Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe that you are capable of more, of more, sorry, alternatively run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Loire Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. I'm going to continue where I am, just for now, till I can get my head around this, so we'll do a couple of episodes on this one. Um, everyone is like sitting standard with the pace, so I don't really want to adjust anyone, maybe, nah, I can't take his down. Nah, we'll leave people's pay as it is. Right, so cure 25 patients, earn 200 grand. Get hospital level 6, current level is 4. Ambulances are dropping off. I think, what do I need more of? I've got two GP rooms. I've got some specialist rooms. But I've only got one basic pharmacy, which seems to be the one that's getting used most. 
So, let's whack the pharmacy in this corner. Got anything else yet? No. I know that because it's making a loss, I shouldn't really be looking at sticking more in, but we're going to. hospital level has went up. I am going to pay for the cheapest nurse. 14,518. You will do, my darling. Let's speed this up a bit. <laughs> going to go for the cure in 25 patients. Right, so they're simple currents really, because the CGP, straight in there, light bulb gets screwed off his head. Hey presto. So yeah, can I expand on this hospital and buy more land? No. There's nothing around, this is it. Right, well we're gonna, we'll go for the two star hospital if we have to I guess. I did think I'd be able to expand on on this one. But it looks like this must just be like a tutorial one and it's it's quite basic. How many we've got six? And this is going full pelt as fast as it can. Revenue is 19 grand, expenses 18. Right, at least we're not making a complete loss. There's still some profit that we had, and I've spent on stuff this year, which will be coming out of it, so we'll just let it run. Should make some profit. Diagnosed, he's happy. Who just died? Treatment failed. Great. We've got another ghost. The hospital may well be haunted. Is the janitor gonna deal with that? He did with the other ones. Let's pause it. And unpause. No, he runs away from. Oh, wait, no, the ghost is gone. No, no, they're not. Oh, great. Right, I need to figure out how to stop ghosts a bit more. Ah, oh, you can zoom right out and see everything like this. That is pretty cool. Sadly, I thought we'd be able to expand, but no. Right, how do I train me janitor up? That's the question. That is the question. Patient happy nurse. So these are all the different logos and what they mean, I think. Isn't it? Okay, so we can turn the temperature up or down. Wait, what is this? That's just seeing how thirsty people are. Hunger. Some people are a little bit hungry. Have we got many? Uh, should I put more snack machines about? Should I put another? Right, well, let's look at items, what we've got. Lightheaded poster. Let's put them there. Um, drinks machine. You want them outside the ward. Snack machine. And we'll put another bin right beside them. Someone get me a doctor over here, please. Let's pick him up. Really, mate? Really? Oh my god. The doctor's useless. Oh wait, no, there's one. Sweet. So bulb heat will be fixed now. 
Let's uh Oh great, we've got another ghost. This is going really well. Right, so he's fixed. The bullpeed's gonna go in. What we're doing? Twelve out of twenty-five. Still gonna make another hundred grand though. Yeah, he's looking for work now. Look at him, Jason Pratt, looking for work, but uh yeah, he wasn't a minute ago when I dropped him in there. The dickhead. Right. Where's that? Where's he gone? Let's pause him. Right. I'm putting you in the GP's office. Don't know why he was looking for work when that office was empty, so you could have just sat in there. Is there a way I could streamline this, maybe? Maybe put another reception desk to the side and we'll put them back to back. Hmm. And the bulb here there is going to be going in. The bulb guys are doing pretty well, and I think the P I've seen them pay dollars before, so. It's good going on that. You can break of lightheadedness in the area causing record levels of light pollution in Hogsport. Group of patients are looking for treatment now. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Should we have them sent here? Yes, we should. What, 90 days? 10 rep and 10 grand. I am taking it, mate. Rooms. I'm not going to back. No, right. Let's go items. Reception desk. Let's back out here. Let's put one here. Pick up this. Put it here. get myself another receptionist assistant person <clears throat> we're gonna go for a cheap one so we're gonna go for Mark Barton here his dog doesn't have a nose nice right oh hell It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So this is going as fast as it can. Eight grand per lightheaded patient. I will take that all day, mate. Cure three, field zero. But we're halfway through the 90 days and we need to cure. I'm sure I said 10. Ooh. Come on, hurry up, get the next guy in. Good news, you've cured 50 patients in total. Each care boosts our reputation, which will attract even more patients to the hospital. Good to know. Oh, that, right, we're building the second room. This is just going to be 3x3, three three, so... We'll do a 4x3... Put the door there. And 
There you go. Get me a doctor in here now. You're busy. Oh, I've got a doctor in here. I do not. Where's my doctor? What's that? Is that a nurse? Nurse. Where the hell's all my doctors? What are you? You, you patient? Nurse. Nurse, nurse. Is one of my doctors died? Wait, I see you. You're not getting a break, I pay you too much. Oh wait, you're already working in the deluxe clinic. Okay. So now we've got two deluxe clinics on the go. Four have cured, but we've got eight days left. We're not going to make this. Especially considering they're staying on the right hand side one and the new patients are going to the next one. Oh wait, no, that's class as a cure, that's the fifth one. Okay, cool. Ah, they're gonna die. Damn it. <sighs> right, so health inspection. Henry Jobsworth, the country's foremost health and safety inspector, has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobsworth also included the following list as an attachment. Eggs, pineapple, juice, carrots, cheesy goblins, eggs, fish fingers. He'll be arriving soon. A good report would help our reputation. Challenge. Impress the VIP with a nice hospital. Reward is five grand, eight rep, and K10. Okay. Challenge. Cure seven patients with the lightheadedness treatment room. That, uh, yeah, we done five of seven, so we failed it. Oh, wait. We cured enough of the patients. Group. This was help the reputation. All right, I'll take that. Even though everyone's dying around her. But on that note, I'm going to pause it there. And this is going to be episode one of Two Point Hospital. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to stick a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to get notified of other episodes. But thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.